What's up, everybody? What is going on today? We are live from the office. Dream huge, a little huge news for you. Got a little, <laughs> not sure what's going on. If you're just tuning in, we've got a little, um, you know, March Madness action here, maybe. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, if, if, well, let me do the introduction first. We got Wendy Armstrong. Hi. With Great American Title. Thank you for joining us today, Wendy. And thank you for treating us to lunch today as well. You're Appreciate welcome. that very much. Great American Title folks. And also Mark Gray with Dream Huge Realty. And myself, Pete Peterson. 419-528-8260 online at dreamhuge.com. Work hard. Never, never give up. up. And dream mm -hmm. huge. Get it in there. <laughs> okay, we got that intro out of the way, so good. So here is, while you guys are joining on, we got some live viewers going right now. We're going to talk about a little bit about title insurance and title fraud today. Um, so we've got the expert, one of the experts right here with us, Wendy Armstrong from Great American. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so the winner of today's $20 DLX lunch gift card right here nice. is the first person that can name this guy right here <laughs> extreme close up good luck to you all okay that is today's trivia question i'm i'll be watching that closely whoever can name that if Who? you are this person it doesn't count if you call it <laughs> yes you can get well but if he's first maybe i'll give it to him okay, that'd be so if you jump on there first look so this is like a happy look just happy and content and that's a surprise look i would guess yeah, we'll go with surprise. Okay. That's his look when we get title orders. Title yeah. orders. Okay, so that's a clue. He may be, uh, he may he be, may be that, in the title industry. He might be in the title industry. And I heard he may be from the Mansfield area he as well. He may be from the Mansfield area as Okay, well. there's a couple clues for you. Um, so let's we'll see if someone knows that and can get that $20 gift card for lunch to DLX. Okay, so we were talking about um, title fraud. Wire fraud, specifically. Yes. Folks, it's a real thing, and we've talked about it before, and we're actually, you know, we want to just, this should be a constant topic of conversation. We're actually, so and so much so, we're adding it to our email signatures as a company, um, so every email you'll be receiving from us will have a disclaimer about title fraud, about wire fraud, I should say. Um, it's a real thing that happens. I had it happen to a, a client of mine. Uh, everything was going well, moving forward towards closing. And just before closing, they got a notification that, uh, hey, you're supposed to send the money to this bank in this state. Thank you for your business. Of course, there was a <laughs> few type. Goodbye. Yeah, and, and thank you for uh, your business and goodbye. Yeah. But um, lenders and title agency will never, ever, ever change wiring instructions on your clients. It, it will never happen. Not one lender. Not one title agency in the state of Ohio would ever do that. So it, communication is your biggest defense, really, against um, this kind of wire fraud. You need to say that early to your clients, the buyers and the sellers. Say it again, and then say it again towards the end. Just make sure that they know that once those wire instructions are put into place, they're not going to be changed. So, not texted, not emailed, nothing. So how do you know when you receive the wire instructions that they are the official instructions? We receive them from the lender. And it makes, oh, you mean it as if I'm the client? Yes. So, the again, it's all about communication. As the bigger our world gets and the more that we're all online, it's even more important to know who your team is. So when you're working with lenders and you're working with different title agencies, you know who those people are. Make sure you have their cell phone numbers, their direct cell phone numbers in your phone right. because you're going to give them an email addresses. You're going to give them to your clients and your clients are going to reach out, and we're going to reach out back to them. You've built this team along this process, yes. right? So if you yes. get an email who's not from your lender, correct, or not from your title company that you recognize, and all of a sudden it's, it's requesting a bank that is out of the area, and another thing on mine, broken English, Yes. Look um, for that. on the email. In emails, it's easy to, yeah. Typos. Easy. Yes. Um, and and uh, botched up, botched up uh, email addresses as yes. well, where they'll yes. take the say great american email address and they'll add a dot in there or they'll change it slightly right they're very slick and they're making huge money doing this right last year 
the FBI reported $4.2 billion in losses over wire fraud. $4.2 billion. It's a big number. It's a very real. It's happened to me personally, and Wendy sees it every single day being in the title business. Yeah. So be sure that you verify your wire instructions, and right. you, you it will never be changed. It will never be changed. Make sure you know who you're talking to. And we have a lot of clients, too, that will actually come into our agency and, and bring, um, they want to meet us. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And when I have questions, I have a client, we'll call sometimes, your client perhaps, mm -hmm. and we'll say, hey, I just got an email from Deanna. I usually get one from Christina. Is there a Deanna Hales that works there? And I say, yes. <laughs> and she was asking for my social security number. How do I know that you're really you? And I say, well, Pete is your realtor. This is my cell phone number. Call Pete right now and verify that this is my cell phone number and that I'm me. And that that works beautifully. Communication and yeah. verification. Oh wait, we've got someone that says Gage Schrader. Gage Schroeder says, I know who it is. <laughs> who is it? Who you is get, it, Gabe? Who is this guy right here? Gage Schroeder. Look at that freshly yeah. shaved, buffed, shiny, bald head. Criminal? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, no, that's, that's great to know. Um, it's a real thing, folks. It's out there. So you were talking about a new service that Great American is going to be offering yes. to, to go, kind of coincide with that. Yep. It's called Safe Escrow, and it's, um, it's another huge level of protection in the wire fraud. It's a whole, they'll take care of all of our wiring back and forth, and they have so many different, you know, as fast as the criminals move, we have to move even faster. Sure, stay right? ahead stay, of them. Stay yeah. a step ahead. And there's, we have our layered system set up. They have their layered system set up. They actually hold that wire until they verify everything from all the parties before they let it go through. And um, they're so sure that what their service works and is not, um, is safe, <laughs> that if something were to go through and fraud were to happen, they actually will pay that amount of money to your client. Wow. Okay. Saves so, so we're lenders and title people, lots of Tylenol and anxiety uh, <laughs> at the end of the day. Because you're talking about you know hundreds of thousands of dollars getting stolen like that. Um, a lot of times, it's people's it's their whole savings. It's what you know they've saved up a whole lifetime. Yeah. It's all of their money. So with this new gone. service, it's they're willing to okay. Worst case scenario, like you yeah, said, worst, it, case. worst case scenario, someone sends you new wire instructions and you're busy that day and you thought it was just another email so you took it with a grain of salt and you sent your money your hundred thousand dollars to buy your house to that bank which was the wrong bank, bank right what's what, the bank where the thief works the bank, right. okay. <laughs> bank. Uh, worst case scenario this you know now great american title is going to pay you that money back with with the help of that uh new service safe escrow, yep. safe, safe, escrow? Yeah, safe, safe escrow safe escrow we'll, we'll take care of that so you would be fully insured for the entire amount so that is peace of mind folks in this crazy world um insurance this, on your money yeah insurance yeah. on your money like criminal minded folks man and it's just so easy it used to be man you had to go ahead and mask up get the getaway <laughs> vehicle get, get the <laughs> weapons Right, drive to the bank. Break you know, in. now you break in. Yeah, now hopefully not right hurt anybody. Yeah. Right. Now all you gotta do is intercept yeah. the. That's intercept how crazy an it is. email or a text message. And like you Someone said, information. And, and your emails are encrypted. Yes. Anything the title company says is yes. encrypted email. But guess who's not? All of our personal Gmail, so uh, Yahoo, AOL, or AOL. whatever. AOL. Yeah. So anytime <laughs> that we're there, sending people, stuff, it's not encrypted. The criminal-minded <laughs> folks are intercepting those. Um, because they can pick up on that verbiage, yeah. and then they just insert themselves really into the good. transaction. They're really good. They're getting better. So we have to get even better, and we have to, you know, that's it's a it's a big testament to have have local people on your team that you trust, that you know and you trust, because we can make a really tight net that they can't get through. Yes, you know, it's it, yeah, it would be like obvious. You're like, I don't recognize that email or that person's right. name. Yeah, so that's very good. Great point. Okay, well, that's all we got for today. Um, I'm going to check the comments to see. I think, you know, Gage says he knows who it is. I'm going to have to say, you know, Gage, if you throw it out there, put it in the comments, whoever whoever this guy is right here. We're having a little fun today on March Madness. I know the Buckeyes are out. Um, but uh, who do we got left? Who are we rooting for in March Madness? Anybody? Who's left? 
Duke's not so even weird. in it. Kentucky's oh, out. No. I mean, the, the big names are out. Tennessee, Tennessee's Houston. gone. <laughs> I don't know. I always like room for one of the underdogs, right? So we'll right. see if one of the underdogs can prevail. So thanks for watching, guys. Pete Peterson with Dream Huge Realty, Wendy Armstrong with Great American Title Agency, and Mr. Mark Gray. You guys know the rules. Work hard, never give up, and dream huge. Get them biceps up there, Wendy. Let's see them. <laughs> Woo! Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you.